what I'm doing, I'm uh, making up some uh, wires to go in my decking. Uh, I'll show you, I don't particularly like the windless type that you see these big turnbuckles that you, I think they're quite ugly. What I've designed is a, a method of keeping everything hidden inside the square hollow tubing. These are all actually, um, they've been, uh, um, all been hot dip galvanised so they won't go rusty but I've painted them as well. But I've got to put in this gap here and right the way along there uh, and I'll show you the method that I've used already and it seems to work. What, I've, what I have, I've got a, these are stainless, these are stainless bolts. I've made up a thick, because I haven't got a lathe now, I used to have, but um, this is a way of holding it in a pillar drill, uh, centering up, up uh, getting it accurate, and then drilling down through the centre. This is drilled down to about here. Um, I'll pull the drill out and you'll see the depth. The idea being that um, I can use cut this end off. This end here will be cut and crimped one end of the the wire, this uh, stainless wire of a specific diameter, whatever diameter you decide to use, or the number of wires you need. I've, I've only got four, some people won't like that, but that is what I like. I don't want too many, uh, and I've got no children running through, so or uh, animals that might fall off this deck. So this is stops it from spinning, and the the uh, you see the drill, the full depth there. So there it is, uh, I've just cut this in the vise uh, and um, obviously you can see the depth, so it's hollow down to to there, and this is hollow so that can be, the wire can be crimped onto that, I'll show you the crimping machine in a minute, that is just roughly cut um, there, uh, but it is stainless and it's quite tough and it uh, needs 25 tonnes to crimp that on, a hydraulic crimper that I'll show you in just a second, and how I prepare the ends of the uh, pieces of uh, these. Uh, after I've uh, cut it, you can see there's a burr on the inside, and I've got to, when I thread the wire through, I'll uh, just show you. What I've used is a, this is a centre drill, uh, and it's got just the right lead in there to feed the, the wire through. Uh, if you have it to a square edge, it just catches up with the wire. This, any slightly uneven edges, it will push it into the centre and allow it to come through. So uh, let's put that down. In my usual fashion I'll probably drop it. Um, but you can see it there, there's a slight chamfer on it there and that allows the wire when you slot it in. That's a blank end, not at this end, and that's, that's your tightening mechanism here and this just simply holds it. So the wire becomes a very long screw if you like with the the head at one end and the thread at the other. I'll show you. Now this is the LDG 240 hydraulic crimping tool that I got from China. An excellent tool it's proved to be. This gives me uh, uh, 25 tonnes or 20, uh, I think that 24, 24 tonnes of, uh, of pressure which I need for this stainless steel. I'd, uh, if you use something else, uh, obviously you'd lose less, need less pressure, but I wanted stainless uh, because I'm using stainless wire. Uh, the good thing about this, this tool is it, it came with a set of, uh, of, of the uh, hexagonal uh, heads for crimping anyway, none of which I've used on that. I had to make my own because it didn't go down small enough for what I wanted, uh, but I've made my own. This is um, obviously welded up uh, some tool steel at this end and I, I filled it with uh, some uh, stainless steel and then uh, filed it down to exactly what I wanted for this job. These are some short ones that I made up for this job but I've, what I've done I've modified my deck here, I've, I've, the stairs were down here and I've filled this section in to make it a bit bigger, moved the stairs over there um, and this is what the modification, so some of the wires that I had which are redundant and no, no, won't be using but these are the ones that I've crimped on uh, and these are the new tools that I'm going to do, I'll show you in a second. Well, I'm getting the uh, wires in, there, got the slight lead in, if you push on and a twist and there's that one in, the next one in.
that's that. Now crimping it. Twenty five tons, very slow action on this. Do a double crimp, twist it slightly, crimp it again. That's it done there. So as you can see this end is crimped on, that will go right through, slot through the to the end with a knot on the end and this end is just the, the, the end I've cut off there crimped on and that will hold on to the post and, and it all looks neat and tidy, no big windlasses. This is uh, a design by Alec McLeod and, uh, and if anybody uses it they're welcome but you know remember me. There it is uh, finished. Just got to polish the top handrail, uh, all tensioned in, it's all stiffened everything up nicely. There it all is now with the wires tightened, the handrail polished, just waiting for the new decking to put the new decking down and that's the, the job finished. There it is all finished, the deck laid, all the wires in and looking good. There's all the decking supplied by Kent Decking all down. I decided to uh, use this format. Really nice finish. Uh, a couple of steps in on there and one over there just to finish off the high fold doors and over here is a, a change in the connections and a staircase using the bull nose and there and all finished off here.